was Chirac's position towards Europe? Some people say it was somewhat ambiguous. Well, uh, he was initially quite reluctant as a Gaullist uh, who had a kind of love-hate relationship uh, with Europe. But to, to be fair, uh, once he came to power, uh, he was clearly a promoter of uh, the European uh, Union. He said that this was really something important. And one of his uh, biggest uh, failure was a referendum on the Constitution for the European Union that took place in 2005. He campaigned for a yes, and the French voted no. And this was clearly a slap uh, in the face. And uh, Chirac really took it very badly and very personally. He said, uh, basically, uh, well, uh, that's your choice, but uh, then please don't complain uh, because you made a bad choice. So this was really something uh, that he took personally. So he was an advocate for uh, a more unified uh, Europe, especially after the Iraq war incident that uh, we talked about. He thought that Europe needed to have more of its own identity and the European Union for him was the best way to achieve More of a counterbalance and, to US power. Yeah, and, and you know, he, he, his sort of famous line was he wanted a united Europe of states. People said, what do you want, a united states of Europe? No, I want a united Europe of states. And it was this sort of idea of a federal Europe, which ironically, you know, Emmanuel Macron right now is, you know, is, is the staunchest defender mm -hmm. perhaps of that idea right now, but he's almost alone right now on the European stage pushing that idea. But it was a Chirac who, and let's have, you know, in his earlier years, he was Eurosceptic. He wasn't born uh, this ardent defender of, of, of a Europe in a federal Europe, I think he, you know, he had direct, you know, memories, experience uh, from the post-war years, obviously. And I think that like a lot of French presidents, uh, the rapprochement with Germany and that sort of axis that we're always talking about, you know, breathlessly, endlessly ever since the, uh, the post-war period, the, the Franco-German axis, I think Chirac uh, was very much cognizant of the, uh, the importance of keeping Germany, both in both a political union and an economic sort of union, uh, in sort of uh, an embrace, if you mm. will. Uh, and that sort of access and the idea of that Franco-German access uh, perhaps is also uh, what helped to uh, galvanize uh, Chirac's Europe ardor, if you will, mm. um, and his defense of a, of a more federal Europe. He saw it, even if that meant erosion of sovereignty of member states. I know today, you know, you have all the nationalists on the stage right across Europe talking about, you know, sovereignty, getting back, taking back our power. Actually, Jacques Chirac's ideas uh, tended to, uh, to, to, to advocate in favor of a slight erosion of sovereignty for member states because he, he believed in Europe. That's right. Um